Hi and welcome back. I'm showing you how to create dynamic project plans with Google Sheets. This is part two of a video series. If you haven't seen part one, go back and watch part one where I'll show you how to set up your project plan. So there are six steps in this video. Step one is to show you how to lock critical content. Now, if you remember, we created this fantastic project plan. So what you wanna do is you wanna go to data and then you wanna go down to protect sheets and range. Over here on the side, you can see add a sheet or range. Let's go ahead and add a description for this protection. I'm gonna just gonna say owner data and let's go ahead and select what we want. We can select all of this. I don't want anyone to change the objectives. I just want them to update the status and the due date. Okay with that? And I'm gonna set permissions. When it says set permissions, I can show a warning when editing this range. So anyone who edits this range, they'll get a warning. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna say restrict who can edit this range and I'm gonna say only for myself. If I have a co-collaborator, I can go ahead and custom this and then I can add several collaborators here so that they can go ahead and edit some of these objectives. For now, I'm gonna protect my objectives and make sure that no one edits them and I'm gonna go ahead and say done. Step two, make communication easier by creating a group email list for your team and share status updates with everyone at once. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and type in Google Groups. Go ahead and click on Groups. In the upper left corner, we're gonna create a group the group name, I'm gonna call it rebrand website team. I'm gonna add a description here. Go ahead and press on next. Let's choose the privacy settings. So who can search for this group? Only group members, anyone on the web? No, we want just our group members. Who can join the group? We want it only for our users. And then who can view conversations? Of course, group members, who can post? Group members, and who can view members? Group members. Now you can change this to the group owner or the group managers. I'm gonna go ahead and say group members can view whoever's there. Press on next. So now I can just start adding all of my group members. So here we go, let's just add a group member here. Let's add another group member and I can have an invitation note here. So now I can go ahead and create this group. So here we go, we can go to the group and we can start messaging directly in this group. All the members are gonna get an invite and they're gonna get an email saying that there's conversations in this group. So step three, we wanna share the spreadsheet with your team. Go back to your spreadsheet and now we can press on the share button here and we can enter individual email addresses, or you can just go ahead and add the project team's group address. You can choose what kind of access you want to grant people, so people can view, they can comment, or they can edit. If you want your team members to update the project by themselves, you're gonna choose this option here, editors. So I'm just gonna notify them, and I'm gonna press send. Now everyone you share the file with will receive an email with a link to the file. If you gave your team members edit access, they will be able to add and update content like tasks, owners, due dates. Next, we're gonna add checkboxes. So go ahead and select your cells. So I'm gonna go ahead and select these cells here. I'll press command, select these three, command these three, continue to press command. Now I'm going to insert and I'm gonna do tick box. So now you see, I've got all my tick boxes here. Now that's quite useful if I were to do an extra little filter. Step five, let's go ahead and create a filter view and you'll see how these checkboxes can be quite useful. So I'll select all of the data that I wanna filter. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight all of this. I'm gonna go to data and I'm gonna go to filter views. I'm gonna create a new filter. Let's go ahead and give this filter a title. You can change the range here if you'd like to. I've already selected my range, so that's perfect. So let's say I just wanna find out the tasks that I haven't completed. So I'm gonna go ahead and select my name first. So let's just clear all of these and just select myself. And then I can go ahead to my status and say the ones that I've not started. So I'll go ahead and clear this and just select not started. So that's a task that I haven't done. I'm gonna quickly go ahead and use this checkbox to select that. And now when I get rid of the filters, so when I clear all of the filters, I can see on the side here that for the one that I, I'm interested in, I've got this checkbox. So that checkbox tells me that out of all of these tasks, that's the one that I wanna address. Now, what's really useful is you can actually copy the URL and then send it via email to your participants. You could go ahead and just use this group and communicate here, start a conversation and, and go ahead and dump this here. Now that looks quite messy, so I'm gonna go highlight it, command K, and then I can link it to this, but I can say, check out the filter. So they can now click on this and I can go ahead and post that message. They can go ahead and use that filter. Step six, we can add comments and replies. So to add a comment, I'm just gonna go select where I wanna add a comment and I need to click this small little insert. Now I can press Command, Option and M. So Command, Option and M and that will do the same thing. I can add my comment here. You can direct your task or your comment to a specific person by pressing the plus sign or the at sign. 
So I'm going to say press plus, and now I can direct this to someone very specific so that they can complete this task. Now I can say whether I want to assign it to them or not. So I can go ahead and assign it to this person, but I can also add multiple other people here. Now the assigned person will be notified and will be responsible for marking this as complete. So I can go ahead and assign this, and then that will go out to that person. And then they can respond to that comment and mark it as complete or incomplete, i.e. they can resolve that issue. Now it's come to me because I've marked it to myself. I'm going to go ahead and say I've completed that and then that gets done. Make sure you watch part three, which is do more with Google Workspace.